Greetings from Elite English Academy. Dear friends, this video will be very useful to the aspirants who are preparing for Assistant Professor of English examinations to be conducted by TRB. In this video, let me discuss how to write an effective essay. So what are the important aspects of that essay? What is the word limit? How much time we have to allot for each question? And should we allot any time for review at all? Then what should be the structure, uh, structure of the essay? Then finally, a sample essay from criticism is given for you. First, let me analyze the time uh, we have to allot. So look at that for both uh, paper one and paper two. So we have two hours each in uh, section B. So two hours means, so we have to write uh, how many questions? Five questions. So out of eight, five questions will be there. So in both uh, places, so how it is given? Descriptive type uh, reflecting all units. So here also the same thing. So probably the units, some of the units missed in section, uh, uh, that is question uh, paper one and uh, may be covered in paper two. So on the whole, for both papers, written part is almost the same, five questions. So we have two hours time. So two hours means uh, 120 minutes. So 120 minutes for a uh, for one particular section, 120 minutes means. So we have five questions. For each question, we can allot 24 minutes. So I would suggest that since it is a very important examination, spending a few minutes time, two to three minutes for brainstorming is important. So you have to gather some ideas and afterwards you have to consolidate. That is for two to three minutes. Then afterwards, you have to take uh, some 15 minutes to 20 minutes, 15 minutes to 20 minutes to write the actual essay. Then finally, so you must spend some 10 minutes for review because uh, what happens uh, normally, so we write uh, essay, so we commit some unintentional errors. For example, if we use uh, third person singular, the last letter, yes, uh, may not be added. This is the very, very common mistake committed by C. If you do not know something, commit a mistake, that is different. That is uh, forgivable. But we know very well that he takes only, not he take. But when we write in a quick manner, sometimes we are ab about to commit such mistakes of leaving out lost letter or lost word in a word or sentence. So how much time we can allot, it is obvious that so 15 minutes to 18 minutes exactly that's how you can plan so as i already told you so within that 15 uh, minutes how many words you can write so just uh, it's a sample only so 250 words or idea so beyond that so maybe uh, so 25 more uh, words uh, you can uh, write but at the same time so if you exceed 300 words, even for a question you know very well, so you cannot exceed because mostly before 10 years when descriptive examinations were there, so they gave a booklet. So two pages will be allotted for uh, big questions. So if it is the case, if the same strategy is followed, you cannot write more. So 250 words to 300. Then your handwriting also plays uh, some important role. So uh, try to practice in such a way your handwriting is legible. So that uh, the examiners, the people who value your paper will not find it difficult. So maximum minute 24, maximum word limit 250 to 275. In case you know one particular answer well, definitely not beyond uh, 300 because there won't be space at all. Then uh, as I already said, so after writing one question uh, going for review, it is a bad idea. It will spoil the mood of the writing examination. So complete all the five questions at the stretch then afterwards 10 to 15 minutes where to get uh, these 10 to 15 minutes so two two minutes so if you carve out from uh, each question 
definitely you can uh, get that uh, 15 to 15 minutes for review so that you can uh, uh, rework on so unforced uh, errors then uh, structure as i already discussed in the previous uh, video so one particular uh, essay was discussed about uh, chaucer so for this uh, discussion let me take uh, one topic from criticism so this particular question was asked uh, in one of the uh, net examinations before a few years back that is uh, before 2012 something so why does sydney consider poetry the most superior art form so when uh, this particular question so here sydney is known for apology for poetry so that is the work in which he talks about uh, all these things but here the question is slightly different why does sydney consider poetry the most superior art form definitely we have to write, refer to uh, apology for poetry at the same time we cannot write only about apology for poetry so that is the beauty of this question now let me give you a sample essay so the word count of uh, this particular uh, essay is 303 so as i already told you uh, this is the maximum word limit so if i compare uh, this particular sample essay with the previous one about on uh, chaucer there uh, there was no side headings whereas in each paragraph there was a uh, link words so first uh, second third next like that but here so i have gone for side headings two acceptable forms so as i already told you you will not have much things to think for a topic so i bank on three particular important uh, ideas on poetry given by sydney so those ideas are very well uh, shown in the side headings for example so first uh, introduction their author uh, detail right philip sydney then uh, he wrote an apology for uh, poetry and though he, it was written in uh, 1580 it was published in uh, 1595 after his death so all these things so even uh, if you want to make it uh, more comprehensive so this work an apology for poetry is the response to stephen gosson's uh, school of abuse but here because of want of space and time so i have uh, excluded that fact so three important ideas so poetry imitates nature but poetry delights and instructs poetry is universal and it uh, transcends time these are the three different ideas those ideas are uh, beautifully phrased as side ending now well, let's see one by one the paragraph first paragraph sydney believed that so here i have used a past form so well uh, you can use a simple present tense also sydney believed that poetry had the power to surpass other art forms in its ability to imitate and represent nature he argued that other arts such as painting and sculpture depict physical beauty whereas so this is one of the link words Poetry had the unique capacity to capture the essence of emotion. So what is the difference? So there uh, just it uh, shows uh, beauty, whereas uh, poetry captures emotions, emotions, thoughts and moral values. So according to him, so Kim, uh, Sydney, through language, poets could create vivid images and evoke deep feelings. So it represents emotions and it can evoke deep feelings in readers mind then poetry delights and instructs the next prominent idea he believed that poetry could serve as a vehicle for conveying important truth and lessons about life virtue and human nature so that is so so in the previous para paragraph we just uh, discussed how poetry imitates beautifully but in the next paragraph we have uh, discussed that how poetry delights so that is beauty and it instructs the third point is its universal universality or timelessness so it could transcend cultural and temporal boundaries he believed that great poetry possessed an enduring quality that could speak to people in different ages and societies then a comprehensive conclusion dear friends writing essay is an art at the same time so writing by writing essay in a given uh, context and given uh, time frame is more important what i would suggest is you identify different topics and uh, have the practice 
as part of our online course so we have done this for each unit so we are giving 10 sample essays like that and then we have identified some more important topics and uh, students or the aspirants are asked to uh, work on it so this is how the things work and as part of the course so we are going to correct one of the essays and uh, we are going to give feedback that is part of that so to enhance their writing skills and to ensure their accuracy of uh, grammatical usage so we have given some writing uh, techniques and some uh, grammar based exercises that are very useful for essay writing so apart from i won't say this is the best essay i would say this is one of the model essays then uh, this essay can be improved a little bit for example as i already said stephen gossens uh, so the source of his uh, views on poetry can be given uh, a few mentions about uh, stephen gossens work can be given and some lines so mother of lies like that stephen gossens says for which he replies some lines from original texts like uh, apology for poetry can be quoted because of want of time i haven't included then uh, as i said so when a side reading is not there for uh, at the beginning of every paragraph link words are necessary but since side readings are there so now it is not necessary but uh, if you feel that okay that will uh, fill the page uh, you can uh, include then uh, here you can uh, think of possible other questions on stephen gossen because if you take a uh, criticism unit stephen gossen uh, there is there but at the same time philip sidney is one of the very very important figures so try to identify some more topics on philip sidney and his views on poetry so that it will be very very useful for you dear friends i hope this video was useful and if you feel that you can uh, join us for this course you are feel uh, you are feel free to call us thank you all the best